Hey guys, Akil here, Forex Trader and Trading Coach over at TradingPower.com. And I wanted to hop in just briefly um, to shoot a quick video for you about a trading opportunity that we looked at over the past week. Now, I got a message today from a trader. He's a member of our syndicate program and in our live trading room just about an awesome trade he took, or I guess an awesome streak of trades that he took here on the dollar yen. And this is one of the pairs that we've been watching very closely, both in our syndicate and live trading rooms. And um, what I wanna do is, and I, I really hate doing videos like this where you do what's called hindsight analysis, where you're looking at the chart in front of you. This is some analysis we did to end the week um, last week or whatnot but you know hindsight analysis is when you're looking at a chart and you say whoa this is exactly what we called and this is exactly what the market did and we are geniuses because the market follows through with whatever we do 100 percent of the time if you guys know me you know that i tend not to do videos like this uh you also know that in our programs in our uh, educational programs we do analysis before it happens so you know but I wanted to take the time to really show you just the importance of having your eyes on specific ideas and, and how maybe just giving a trader an idea, hey, this is what you may wanna watch for, this is what you may wanna keep an eye on, how that can have a very big impact on a trader maybe seeing an opportunity that they didn't before and potentially making themselves uh, a few very good trades and hopefully some profit as well. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shoot you back to a little flashback of a syndicate video that we did about four days ago. This had to be last, um, I think we did it on the 15th. So last Thursday, looking at this pair in a, a very early stage and then um, kind of giving you my analysis and what I think could happen. And then I'll come back and explain what exactly happened here and the type of moves that our trader was able to take advantage of. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Let's flash back to a syndicate video from last Thursday. But let's pay attention to what's happening here. And here on the four hour chart of the dollar yen, here's what I'm paying attention to. Today we broke two uh, key levels of structure, right? Price action had recently been in a downtrend since uh, early May. And today we blew past two key levels of structure. We, we blew past a level of structure resistance right here. We also blew past a level of structure resistance right there. Uh, and this is when we want to go through that IPDE process. Identify, predict, decide, execute. So I'm identifying that price action has broken and closed above previous level of structures. Boom, right there. I'm predicting that uh, a higher high, higher close means a continuation uh, higher and this is very similar to if you guys watched the trading blog video that I put out today very similar to what we looked at in there of the euro dollar so I'm asking myself well if price action is going to go higher where is price where are we likely to go next and the next level of structure that I see hey buddy I'm recording a video <laughs> all right sorry about that guys a little guy came in and want to say hi uh, he's interested in trading too apparently but Back to our analysis, uh, where was I at? Uh, we're looking at our next place. Where is price action likely to go next if we are gonna continue higher? And that next level is gonna be right up here. Again, this is our previous level of structure. If you're just familiar with how a price chart moves, again, what I'm doing is I'm just looking at the ebbs and flows of the market. I'm looking at the extensions and the pullbacks and the extensions and the pullbacks. And those are the key swing points in the market where I would expect price action to be kind of gravitated towards next. So the opportunity at hand is gonna be a short opportunity if we do come up here, but also a long opportunity in advance of the market going to this level. And that's when I wanna start measuring out a zone. And it's, this is gonna be an interesting scenario um, because we're gonna have a zone that really goes technically between here, we can bring this down a little bit a zone of between right there and really about right here for a potential reversal zone. So looking at the area, let's just call it between 110.60s and about 110.20s. And if you look back at this first level, right, resistance, resistance, support, going backwards, support. The second level we found, again, support. And then most recently, our double top here, a little, little consolidation in here as well. But then resistance resistance up here as well. 
All right, so in that video, we identified the initial premise of the trading opportunity. And I like going through a process called the IPDE process, identify, predict, decide, execute. If you guys aren't familiar with that process, you can uh, go ahead and do this. Let me just load up our website here. Go over to tradeempowered.com. Uh, and, right, go over to tradeempowered.com. Click this learn to trade button over here or tab, whatever, and scroll down and watch this free on-demand training workshop called Into the Gray. It's a, it's a three hour, uh, it's a powerful three hour trading event that will open your eyes to a new way of trading and a new way of looking at the markets. You'll learn why markets move, how to apply OODA loop theory and IPDE to keep you one step ahead of the markets and a whole bunch of other stuff as you can see. But watch that as we really explain what that IPDE process is and, and why it's very important to add that to your trading. But we looked at this mark and we, we identified it later on in the live room and we saw this formation, which is a rising channel that may not be the, the specific name for it. I like to call it a rising channel because it's very close to a rising wedge. And, you know, as long as I know what it means, that's all that matters. But essentially, it's a it's a loss of momentum type of formation where you see um, price action making a very, very, very uh, steep slope. So a high momentum move to the bullish side, a high momentum rally, and then slowly starting to lose steam, right, as we start to kind of bend out here. And I like to pair that with our relative strength index. And when we have this type of formation with RSI divergence. Divergence just means that the oscillator is doing something different than price action. It's a good sign. It doesn't mean it's not a say all be all, but it's a good sign that we may see some type of reaction. And in this particular case, we're looking for a breakdown, not a breakout. In many of these consolidation patterns, we look for breakouts like in flags and pennants and whatnot. This time we look for some relief. So a breakdown, a retracement correction, what have you. And you can see price action did that. And we came right into that level that we talked about in the video. Now, this trader, right, because he's a member of our training course, he also has this pretty neat indicator called the DSR, the Dynamic Support and Resistance Indicator. And if we plug that on and just base it off a higher time frame, which is going to be a four hour chart, watch this. It's going to be pretty awesome. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be the best thing you've ever seen ever, right? Plug this in here and boom, look at this. A big green box right in this zone. Now, this box wasn't always green. You can see the exterior is red. That means that at one point, this level of structure acted as resistance, just as up here, and we'll talk about that later. This level of structure acted as resistance. Once it was broken and closed above, essentially once that level of structure um, or potential structure was uh, potential resistance was violated, it now became support. You can see this box green uh, box morphs from a red box to a green box, just as if this one down here went from uh, green to red. Uh, so it's a pretty cool just visual indicator of, hey, what levels in the market should I be looking for? And lo and behold, price action retraced down to this level. We consolidate it for a little bit and then we explode it, retesting previous structure highs and making our way back up to the level that we also talked about, uh, the, the bigger prediction or the, 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 the higher prediction, I should say, not necessarily bigger, higher prediction in our video up here, uh, where we'll be looking for a bearish trading opportunity this week in a live room and this week in our syndicate program. So pretty cool to see that play out. Again, not a big fan of hindsight videos. I don't show this to, to make you guys you know, think that, hey, super trader, this guy makes predictions and they always come true. No, that's not the case. Again, I want to emphasize the importance of just being involved, right? Putting yourself in a great community, putting yourself around traders and being able to have different ideas thrown at you each day and, and have just different views of the market because you never know when it may uncover something that you miss. Um, and that could be a trading opportunity and it could be a potential very profitable trading opportunity as this one was to our trader. So if you guys are new and you're looking to be involved, you're interested in kind of staying in the loop instead of just taking in a, a random YouTube video whenever we decide to post these, uh, make sure you spend some time on our website, right? Check out our free training and commit to some time in either one of our live trading rooms. We have a, a London session and a New York session where we trade three hours a day with a fantastic community or 
if that time doesn't work for you, if you, if you, you know, maybe have a nine to five and you can't spend three hours in front of a computer because your boss is going to catch you and you may get fired, check out our syndicate program. Um, it's a not as involved program. You don't have the community and the day to day chatter and, and talk, uh, but you do get a daily war room meeting at 830 from Jason Greystone, who takes you around the market and, and shows you what's on his radar. And then you also get trade ideas shot through our trade floor software by myself and Jason Greystone. Stone, as well as a few videos a week, um, like the one I just showed you of me showing you some of the longer term setups that are on my radar. So give it a try. We have one week free uh, trials for our live room. We have 30 day trials for our syndicate program for a dollar. So if you give it a try, and you don't like it. All you've done is waste a dollar um, and maybe a few a few minutes or <laughs> uh, watching videos each week. So uh, Good luck in the markets this week. I'm excited to get uh, get started once again. And until next time, plan your trade, trade your plan. Take care.